Ladies and gentlemen, it's good to see you again. Now, I am really, really sorry for the brief break I took. I was honestly a little busy shredding some serious pow and mammoth. Quick speed check for those of you who care, because I certainly do. But even though it was a very fun break, I'm very glad to be here talking to you guys again, because hot damn, Blue Lock is getting serious. We're here with Broly. As always. And uh, we're going to get straight into it. In case you haven't seen the recent leaks for Chapter 204, I'm issuing a quick spoiler warning out there because some of you really have an issue when I unintentionally spoil shit for you, so I'm just not going to deal with it anymore. Watch at your own risk. Following the Manshine vs. Bastard game, it's honestly hard to believe that anybody can outplay Isagi at the current moment, and the same goes for Bastard Munich as a whole. I feel like they're kind of firing in all cylinders at the moment. Enter the Ubers, the single most slept on team ever. I swear to God, like genuinely, I swear to God, every single one of you called me a madman for actually having faith in the Ubers. And I'm not going to lie, there were some of you on my side, you know exactly who you are. But seriously, right now, for those of you who are not as intellectually advanced as us, I told you so. So today, I'm actually going to cover the Ubers. For those of you who aren't super familiar with them, uh, I'm going to give out some predictions based on how the eventual matchup with BM is going to go, as well as predictions for playstyles, potential matchups, and the impact they're going to have on the story as a whole. Anyways, we got a lot to get into, so I'm done wasting your time. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. First things first, who are the Ubers? Well, taking it back to our very first introduction to the Neo Egoist League as a whole, they come from one of Europe's big five leagues, Italy. And after saying they're from Italy, I'm sure you can honestly take a look at their fucking logo and realize it's Juventus. From the get-go, it's established that Italy is a league that favors slyness and tactics. Ego going as far as to say that they hold history and being able to win 1-0 simply from holding with their defense. A playstyle that fuses individual strength with robust team organization was born here. From that, we can kind of already infer exactly uh, what the Ubers are all about. Their game plan is just straight clamps. Like, they're all pure reds or two ways on 2k, it's fucking crazy. And at the helm of all of it is the Grandmaster of the Ubers, one of the most unknown and mysterious players so far that I think we've encountered in all of Blue Lock, the Crown Messenger, Mark Snuffy. Like I said, Snuffy is honestly a complete enigma to me. I am so hyped to see what he's all about because I feel like he resembles, uh, just by look, um, a younger Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And even though we have Shida who plays exactly like, having his playstyle and uh, his egoism coming in in a professional standpoint, it would just be so cool in my opinion, but that's literally just me fanboying. Obviously, I don't feel like he's going to play like Zlatan considering that uh, Italy focuses heavily on their teamwork and Zlatan's more of a real-life egoist closer to what Blue Lock's ideals normally push. But one thing's for sure, this motherfucker knows what he's doing. Next up, we have to talk about the players that we know are confirmed so far on the team and what this means for the team itself. Taking a look at the roster who actually decided to go to Italy, we have Baro, Aiku, Jube, Nico, Sendo, Fukaku, Shingen, Shiguma, and Ishikari. I don't know much about the, the back five. I'm not going to do research on background characters. I'm sorry about that, guys. But the main four I definitely need to cover. RU has been shown to be an actually prolific defender. His jumping ability makes it to where you can't really win headers against him, and his length and overall skill just makes him a really hard defender to get by. Pairing that up with the absolute dominant, dominant force that is Oliver Iku, you really can't get better defense than that. Not to mention, they have Nico. And I'm telling you guys this now, Nico is severely slept on at the moment, and I feel like every single one of you guys is going to regret that, because I swear to God, this bullcut motherfucker is coming for his get back, and Isagi better be ready. We saw that he was able to somewhat access Metavision at some point in the Japan U20 game when he decided that it was actually really fun to play defense and crush strikers. These three are honestly huge pickups to the defense. I'm sure the Uber's defense is already stacked enough. I mean, that's the entire premise of their team, but adding these three powerhouses is gonna do nothing but reinforce the fact that people are gonna struggle severely to score on them. As aside from those nine Blue Lock players that we know are actually part of the team, we obviously have Mark Snuffy, as well as, and this is going to be one of my predictions, one of the World 11 players, because I feel like there's absolutely no way that not a single person from the new World 11 is going to be from Italy. Whether it's going to be a defender or maybe even a goalkeeper, hell, Gagamaru has been kind of bodying every single goalkeeper in his way. It's about time he sees some actual skill. And it would make sense that they have a good goalkeeper because, I mean, no one can score on them. That's the best form of defense you can get. But like I said, I'm just speculating at this point. I really don't know. <laughs> and even if they don't, adding Aiku, Nico, as well as RU to their back line is going to just be absolutely insane. And I feel like it's going to make it hard for not only Isagi, but Kaiser, Kunigami, and even Yukimiya to score. That brings me to the main topic of this video. The guy that this whole video was inspired by. The King, Baro Shohei. 
even though he was somewhat of a fallen king uh, up until now, we have been speculating just how good Baro was going to be when he came back following his electric goal in the Japan U20 game because we really haven't heard much of him since the Neo Egoist League started. Until this motherfucker decided to drop his pants and score a hat trick against Barcha. And let, 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 let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Okay. He scored a hat trick against Barcha in his first game in the Neo Egoist League. Okay. The team won three to one. All three goals. Baro. What the fuck? As we were able to see in the 204 leagues, Baro is currently the number one ranked blue lock player as far as the Neo Egoist evaluations are concerned, sitting at a whopping 100 million. Offered, of course, by the Ubers because they are completely impressed with what they see. I don't blame them. He's a king for a fucking reason. Judging just simply off of the little shots that we actually get to see of Baro, he looks shredded, dude. He might just pull up to the wildcard training for fun real quick just so he can get fucking jacked. And rightfully so because he got violated by Isagi and... I don't think he's going to let some shit like that slide again. <laughs> it may seem a little unorthodox for someone uh, like Baro, who is just extremely selfish and kind of tends to bring his team down due to that selfishness, to go to a club that's super team-oriented and works solely on tactics. But if you go back to what Ego said earlier, Italy plays with a playstyle that fuses individual strength with a robust team organization. You have the team organization right here. It's already set in stone. You add the individual strength of Baro Shoei. Masterpiece. And honestly, I feel like this is kind of the reason why Baro went there. He knew that the team was already organized in and of itself. He knew that no matter who came into it, it was going to run like a well-oiled machine. And on top of it, he knew that their defense was dominant. Taking all these into account, it makes complete sense for Baro to go here. It is the number one spot where he can honestly shine as the main striker. And with the entire team being that locked down to the point where they held Barcha to only one goal, I'm not going to be shocked if the only person who can score is either Kaiser or Noel Noah when the time comes. That leads us perfectly into my predictions. First off, I'm going to cover their play style. Like I said, it's, I feel like it's going to be heavily defensive i mean you're putting that d-pad all the way to the left when you're playing fifa ultra defensive they are going to be clamping every single person down i think it's going to be very difficult for bastard or any of their opponents to score for that matter as far as any individual evolutions go i feel like we're going to see nico with some sort of meta vision uh, that's kind of the only thing that can really take isagi down is if someone has meta vision to counter him i can see the same thing happening with iku even though he kind of already had some sort of a meta vision at least instinctively when it came to defense he was just so locked down that he's going to be good no matter what happens are you too i feel like we could see the entire defense accessing the flow at the same time i don't feel like he's going to access flow on his own but i do feel like we are going to see an entire not team flow but uh at least defensive flow where every single member of their defense is just in a flow state at once because they are that in sync with each other and their tactics are simply just that good as far as the score of the game i actually have two different guesses i want to give first off i'm going to say it's going to only be 1-0 borrow being the only person to score and it's honestly just tying into what ego said earlier that they're famous for winning one to zero i feel like that's a little too obvious, but I'm just going to go with it for now. Or, you know, we see another Baro hat trick and they completely blow them out. Maybe Kaiser or Noel Noah scores a goal, like I said. Either way, I have them beating Bastard. I feel like it's just set in stone, which is going to make the eventual matchup with PXG even more important. Finally, as far as the impact that this team is going to have, uh, I feel like this is going to be the breaking point as well as the rebirth point for Bastard as a whole. You guys can say I'm crazy all you want. I feel like Isagi is going to get absolutely fucked up. I feel like the defense is going to stop him. Uh, Nico, Aiku, they're going to be able to predict every single thing he thinks. Uh, if they have a World 11 goalie, if they have a goalie from the World 11 or another defender from the World 11, they're going to be able to stop everything Isagi does as well as being on par with Kaiser potentially. And I honestly feel like it's going to be a complete reality check for the team, meaning that they might actually come together and be on on the same page for their eventual matchup with PXG, which is going to be the entire culmination of the Neo Egoist League as a whole. So yeah, uh, I think they're going to be very important, even though they're not the technical final boss. <laughs> like I said, I feel like this could be a rebirth period. Maybe Kaiser and Isagi realize that they have to get on the same page. I highly doubt that, but hey, anything can happen. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Now, I know I rambled on a long time and there was a lot of information I kind of dumped on you all at once. So really quickly, just to recap, the Ubers are going to beat Bastard Munich 1-0, absolutely devouring Isagi's newfound egoism, causing him to have to completely evolve even more than he already has before his eventual rematch against Reen. I feel like the defensive players are really going to shine in this game. And above all else, we're finally going to get to see the new and improved Baro Shoei. So, uh, yeah. That's the Ubers for you. Okay, everybody, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much to every single one of you who tuned in. As always, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you want to see next, as well as leaving your predictions for how the game's going to go or just how the Ubers are going to be as a whole. I really want to know what you guys are thinking too. Please consider subscribing to the channel with post notifications turned on so that you never miss another Blue Lock video from me again. Trust me, they're going to be good. I don't want you to miss them. <laughs> and yeah, that's all I got for you today. <laughs> Love you guys. Take it easy.